I'm starting to learn a new 2x2 method called CLL. What CLL does is basically you get your first layer and then you do the entire last layer using one algorithm. Now, there are 40 different CLL cases, which means that there are 40 different CLL algorithms. But what if you already knew seven of them just from knowing how to solve a 2x2? Two two? There are seven categories of CLL cases. These are the soon cases, the anti soon cases, the L cases, the T cases, the U cases, the H cases, and the Pi cases. And if you know a basic 2x2 two two method like layer by layer or Ortega, you already know one case out of each category. You probably know them as the OLLs. If you're not familiar with the set of algorithms, it's where you orient the last layer of your 2x2, two two, and you can find more information about it in my 2x2 two two tutorial here. From now on, I'll be using the algorithms I mentioned in that video. The first case we'll be looking at is the soon case. This, as you probably already know, is R U R prime U R U two R prime, and how to recognize a PLL skip is that all of the top side corners, all of the top side stick sticker, all of the top side stickers are adjacent to each other. Blue is adjacent to orange on a solved cube and orange is adjacent to green on a solved cube. So if you get something like this, you know that you won't have a PLL skip because red isn't adjacent to orange. You'll have to be careful though, because you can also get this case where each corner is adjacent to each other, but you'll end up having a Y-perm PLL. So what you can do is make sure that if that if each corner were twisted, then it would give you a solved cube. For example, if I twist this corner, I'll know that orange doesn't match up with red. Whereas in the real soon CLL case, then, then red would match up with red if I were to twist this. Oh, and by the way, this also applies to the anti soon case. All of these are adjacent, and and if I twist, and if I twist all of them, then then it'll be solved. The, the anti soon is just a mirror of the soon case. On to the next case, the T case. The algorithm for this one is R U R prime U prime R prime F R F prime. How you can recognize the PLL skip with this case is that the two top stickers on the left bar will be identical to the front right corner. For example, orange and blue will match up with orange and blue. On to arguably the easiest case to recognize a PLL skip for, the H case. The OLL is solved by doing R2, U2, R prime, U2, R2, and you can recognize it very easily. The bars in the top will be vertical. Once the bars in the top are vertical, then you can do the algorithm. There's a very similar case where you'll have horizontal bars, but just know that the normal OLL is with the vertical bars. Now for the pi case, you know that the algorithm f r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime f prime will give you a PLL skip because you have matching colors here and opposite colors here. Red is opposite to orange on a soft cube and these blue are matching. So doing the algorithm will result in a PLL skip. The u case is also really easy to recognize. The algorithm for this is F R U R prime U prime F prime. And you can recognize it because you'll have matching colors here and opposite colors here. And finally, 
the L case. This one is a pretty tough one, but once you once you solve enough, then you'll be able to pick it up. The, for the PLL skip with this L case, you're always going to have opposite colors here, and in the middle of doing the algorithm, which by the way is F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F, then you'll see that these two colors conveniently match up. And then you know you have a PLL skip. So there you have it. You now know how to recognize the seven CLLs you already knew. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for future content. Also, comment down below suggestions for future 2x2 Tuesday episodes or videos for my channel. That's all for today, and I'll see you guys next week on 2x2 Tuesday.